Salvete Spectators, it's Master Post. Welcome back to Brandenburg in Europe Universalis 4 Rights of Man. We are in a until now very successful war, which will likely continue because there is no enemy army left. We stack wiped both of them instantly, even though the first one was nearly our size. I think there were eight or nine thousand troops. We had eleven. And with a lucky level uh, dice roll of nine, we crushed him in the, I think, in the second melee phase. So now we only have to wait for this siege to continue, or finish. And I don't want to loot my own provinces, which I'm gonna take, or maybe I vassalize them. I don't know. Ooh, they lost a fight here. Let's see. But the war is going in favor of Poland. That's for sure. Gonna do everything. Okay, I think we can go up to speed four. Normally, I pretty much like speed three, but I. Ah, uh, Lüneburg declared one unhalt. Now it's going. Excellent, and we even battered a little bit our treasury here. We have switched off this fort, and there is no fort. Saxe Lauenburg. Oh, wait a second. So, oh, they gave back their territory. Now are dwarf pretty much everybody. Let's see. Lauenburgian succession war attack against Anhalt. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Leads personal union with Saxe Lauenburg. Anhalt does. I'm not sure if Anhalt would take the there are no claims in this province, or are there? No, so I hope that the province stays. Yeah, sure, we give you access, why not? Stays where, uh, with Lüneburg, so I can fabricate and then successfully take the province in an next war. Uh, let's build a spyberg network here. If we are quick, we may, be, we may be able to take Danzig. They don't want to have it urgently, so they will take these three provinces for sure, and hopefully not Danzig after that. I'm not sure, maybe they will. We loot merrily away. So we not only ha didn't have to take alone. This is unfortunate, but what can you do? Excellent, we finished this war as well. So, if we do a separate piece here, let's wait until we get next month's tick. If we do a separate piece here and t Oh, crap. Wait a second. This is unfortunate. We can, I think, however, vassalize them. Let's see. Yeah, we will be over our relationship, unfortunately. One, two. Well, that's not good. Mm, there is no easy way to gain a fifth relationship slot. And frankly, this country isn't even worth it at all. So I, I'm just gonna peace out and take all the money. Could annul treaties to gain... Do we gain anything from that? We gain two prestige. And war reps. And oh, well, 100 money is not bad. This would give us. Well, 0.7 inflation. This is not even little, but we gain 100 ducats, which in our position is a lot. And a little bit prestige. Well. What? Wait a second. This is new. This is the window when. The war has finished and we can look what happened and how the losses stack up against each other. We lost 3500 in combat and 700 to attrition and they also a lot to combat and a little bit to attrition. It's not little if you combine this. I wonder if this was only against this country, against East Frise in this war. Or if it was the whole war, because the numbers seem a little bit high. 
Let's see, we have 4,300 losses here. Let's, let's look. You are black flagged, you can come back. So do you. We could make them our vassal. They will be very pissed because they have nearly the same size and strength as we do. We can't do anything there. If we take provinces... We have... Uh, well, we have nine prestige like this. Uh, ooh, this is a lot of prestige. I don't think... Now, we just take these two provinces. On all treaties with Istrisia, why not? Humiliate and war apps. Yeah, hum with humiliation this is much better. Actually, they don't accept this. Come on, how much money are you willing to give? This is stupid that we I can't see where it stops. Okay, it does. So, we will gain these two provinces. We gain war apps. For 10 years they will be humiliated. We gain 68 ducats, which also raises the inflation. We gain 6 prestige and 38 power projection. Fine, and they will accept this. Sweet. No, no, it's, it's the losses for the whole war. And this may seem high, but it's actually not. It's a very, very economical war. I don't know if you watch Aruma's Let's Play, but he's in a war with the Teutons and I think he has lost more than... I don't know, the numbers here are higher than you think they are. No, they are lower than you think they are. 4000 sounds much, but it isn't. It's very little and even 700 to attrition isn't much. That's fine. Okay, I don't think they are a, vas uh, a rival to us anymore. Let's check the coalition map mode now. People are a little bit pissed, but it's manageable. Austria is hardly pissed at all. 14, which is manageable. Let's see. We need to improve with mines once more to gain the fourth and secure election. The fourth elector. Let's combine our armies once more. We could declare... Ah, uh, well, they are already under siege, so it doesn't make any sense. We have to call them. Um, we have some war exhaustion, so does it make sense to wait for the war exhaustion to go down? Maybe. I don't think so. Let's do it right now. They are legitimately pissed at us, but I don't think we will have to handle problems. Ooh, 11k, so interesting. They will get this army size due to base advances. Well, this doesn't tell me much. Advances, base. Well, however, that is calculated to gain 11,000, which is a problem. In five years they will revolt. I don't think this is too big of a problem. We can give them stuff. I'm pretty sure the nobility wants a province and to the clergy we can give another. They are pretty much the same. This one is a little bit more valuable. So let's give this to the clergy. Well, before that we check. Yeah, the clergy, there's no problem. Let's give this to the clergy. And this to the nobility. So they should be fine now. Oh god, they have more. They only have 81%, so... The crisis will proceed slowly. And in 54, the generalship grant will go away. That's fine. Here, we could grant the Admiral ship. Nope, doesn't do anything. What can we do here? Let's see. Seek support of the clergy. Uh, that sounds fine. We want... Definitely want here 150 admin power if possible, so we have to pump this one up even higher. Definitely give this. Uh, so 65%... Ah, 56%. We also need... When we exceed exactly 20 influence. Shit, I don't get it. I only get 25. Hmm. So, let's, mm, let's just take the 100. It's better than nothing, right? This didn't change at all, so that's fine. 
Excellent. So c uh, creating these cores were basically free, and we will be able to gain to tech f get to tech four soon, soonish. Okay, Salicia has done the spy stuff. We have a core uh, claim here. Uh, this will proceed with one each month, so we have a hundred months. That's fine. This is, however, a little bit boring. They uh, won't be able to hold much, hold on much longer. We could go in for Danzig, but we can't actually get there. So this doesn't make much sense. Austria has been rivaled back by the Mamluks. Let's get, go to best guess here. War of the Roses has ended. Wow, this wasn't impressive at all. England still allied to Portugal. Austria still allies with me, Savoy, Aragon, Hungary. That's fine. What if we were to declare for Poland right now? Hungary would still join. Bohemia would of course join as well. If we declare on Bohemia... Ooh, that's interesting. Poland wouldn't join. Hmm. Barely. So that that's perfect, actually. We could isolate these two power blocks, because Poland has war exhaustion or whatever. Yeah, war exhaustion. And because they like me. Magdeburg and the Palatinate would join, which are they're a little bit threatening, but not too much. Hungary has this crazy general. And they would definitely join. Austria can't. Saxony doesn't want to. Okay. That's fine. Let's nevertheless... We are currently winning. Easily, so let's build a spy network. Just to make sure that we get claims. Oh crap, Lüneburg got annexed. They are allied with Anhalt and Galway. If we were to swoop in here... It would be a little bit risky. So let's not do that. I think the... They are about to give it back. I'm pretty... Yeah, there we go. Austria still likes us. We could directly attack them now. I think I'm gonna do that. It's just too easy to take this province here. Yeah. Are you kidding? They instantly joined the trade league. So this is off the table. Hmm. I think we have... We are forced by the game to play more historical here. Alright, never mind. Let's go back and suppress revolts. Clergy decreases the local unrest. So here we have 7.9 and 7.1. So this, this should have gone up a lot. 5.2 years. Well, already 20%. That's bad. We ha may have to increase autonomy in one of the provinces. Our truce with Hungary has ended. Okay, we are allied, so that's no big deal. We have still four votes for the Emperor, and the Emperor is 34, which isn't small. Bohemia is also building spy stuff here. Other Poland, Magdeburg, wow. It's so tempting to declare somehow on Bohemia. Ooh, there are rebels. Bohemian separatists. Hopefully they are strong. Can go for marketplace. I think we do that. We get ahead of time penalty. Oh, not penalty, bonus. Trade efficiency and the corruption goes down even further. Now we have incorruptible and ahead of time. Over overextension actually increases corruption. Interesting. I'm rooting out so it goes down rather quickly. This goes until 58. So we have eight more years of bonus to siege. Mm. Our use of mercantilist policies is proving frustrating for some of our merchants. Do we want one mercantilism and absent power? Well, let's see. There, something has changed with mercantilism, if I recall correctly. Does it increase corruption or something like that? Let's do it. Let's try it out. 
there's any modifier to corruption. I don't see it, so that's fine. I mean, trade isn't a big part in our realm, so that's not the problem. We can build one more infantry. So let's see about that. We have... Promote culture. You acquire at least 102 diplomatic power to promote a culture. But we have only 17. So they give us less tax, less manpower and less sailors, so we definitely want to promote the culture. We don't get the culture now for free anymore, although they should be quite a big percentage. 32... okay. So they are now cored. And they are already one of our states. So that's fine. This was, this was perfect, actually. Fine. What was the difference here? Okay, it was the percentage. Wait, wait, what? Poland has accepted an offer to hire four soldiers from Pomerania. So the war isn't going as well? Well, it is. Don't know what you're doing. From Pomerania, really? Heh! <laughs> okay. So, has the force limit increased even further? Nope. Still at 12, which is fine. The unrest has gone down, so I'm pretty sure I don't have to worry about it. Six years now, that's fine. Let's go to admin tech 4. We gain here... Trade efficiency and corruption goes down, and here we have production efficiency and also corruption goes down. So corruption goes down even faster now. This is an extra modifier that we can play with. It goes down by 0 0.24, 0 0.25 every year, which is excellent. And Prince Elector Frederick is now Lawgiver. Wow, that's, that's the good stats are wrapping up here. That's perfect. Look at this. Autonomy. Nice. We increased the decrease by 50%. Sweet. Let's unassign the king. Let's assign the heir, actually, so hopefully he dies. We are doing just fine. We could fabricate Danzig. We have no ships. If we... It's not under siege at all. So if we go in there... They give us military access? I'm pretty sure they won't. They have them as rivals, but so they also have us as rivals. Hmm, it may be too tempting to not do it. Take Danzig, take Newmark, or humiliate them. France wants Condottieri, so that's a good idea actually, so we can lend them to France. And gain a lot of, lot of money out of them, because we're also pretty much at our manpower cap. But I so want Danzig, and Poland doesn't want it. He only likes it, but he doesn't need it. And I'm safe from Polish aggression. The Livonians, of course, would not... Well, not of course, but they would not join. And I can pretty much take what's left. So, what's about, what about France? France wants to join... Uh, wants to hire these guys. They don't want this big of an army, apparently. Oh, by... what? We cannot rent out if he's led by heir or monarch. Interesting. It would pay 5.6. Alright. Nice. I could do it, but... Well, the access here is even more difficult. I would need it first through Poland. Switzerland, well, it's also only three, then I, I'm there. But they're in a very winning war. I'm pretty much sure they can't lose at all. On the other hand, I need Danzig even more, and I have the money for now, that's fine. If we declare now... Hmm. Well, we can also wait, we can do that later always. On the other hand, I could directly swoop in and take Danzig. I think I think it's worth it. I, we will get access from him easily. 
Oh, here we are. They took four provinces. We have a claim here, that's bad. And they are still allied with the Livonians. Ah, oh, crap, now they would join. This is stupid. Hmm. None of my allies would. And... But I need Danzig. I need Danzig. Because if I want to form Prussia... Let's see. I need one, either Danzig or Stolp. Or Brand... Uh, Interesting. And definitely Königsberg. So, if I can take Danzig and Königsberg in, this, in the next fight, in the next war... Well, I think this is really worth it. Hmm. The problem is that Lithuania joins again. I said I don't want to look in the ledger. They can't have many armies and must have a lot of... Let's, let's just do it. Take Danzig. Let's do it! Conquest of Danzig. Let's get right in there. We have to siege, unfortunately, this province first. Okay, this is all for this episode. How we fare, and if this was a mistake or not, you will see in the next episode. I thank you all for watching for now. See you soon.